Today we're in Asenovgrad, in the Plovdiv region. Asenovgrad is known as a very religious place, with over 150 chapels in the city and surrounding areas. Asenovgrad is in the foothills of Ridopi Mountains, and today we're going to climb that mountain and go to one of these chapels. So this guy, he's bringing up the uh, stones and everything to this Svetidimita now. Yeah. He's bringing all the materials where we go now. They're uh, making it all nice and refurbishing it. Yeah? Yes, yes. That's why running path to Svetidimita, 50 yeah. minutes up and down. 15 minutes up and down. 15 minutes up and down. It seems yeah. like a good run, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you will see now <coughs> where we go. I will not run now, but <laughs> yeah, it's very beautiful. It is very beautiful up here. Nice little path, you're in the middle of a forest whilst going up. Yeah, we're just going up now. We're going on, as I said to you, to Svetiti Mitter. Here in beautiful Asenovgrad. This up there where you see the cross, this is Kutra. I will yeah. not bring you today there, but it's the word Kutra. Right. It's written here also. <coughs> Echo Pateka Kutra. And yeah, you have here the, the sign, also Kutra, so you cannot miss it. But we are going now to Sveti Dimiter, which is a little bit more up. And yeah, I don't understand. I mean, it's somebody tried to make a fire here or something, I think it's really unresponsible. Yeah, in the middle of a forest. In the middle of the forest. Crazy. Now it's, now it's a little bit, um, not dry, but when it's dry, I mean you can just burn the whole the forest, Balkans. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's not bad. Here's the cave. It's quite an easy walk. Huh? It's quite an easy walk. Yeah. Here's the cave. It's not that big. No. Just like this. But still, it's cool. So if you need a sleeping place, you can just <laughs> crush here for the night. <laughs> crush here for the night. Yeah. yeah. As I said the last time, one of my favorite places in the center of Grad. And this is all made by some grandfathers, which are located here in, uh, in Asenovgrad. And I mean, just see the view. It's really amazing. Yeah, you can see the whole of Asenovgrad. Yeah. So we go up there to have some breakfast. So Garrett, come on, look at this view. Wow, that's amazing. It's yes. absolutely amazing. You see the whole of a Senovgrad? Yes. See the whole of Senovgrad, this is uh, yeah, where I'm living since 10 years. 10 years. Hate it when there's some garbage, but this is why we have these things here. Yeah, exactly. Please put your garbage in these things and they will take it off. Sometimes I also take it off. And yeah, down there you have the uh, Senovgrad post, where we go now also. Right. Yeah, we're going to go over there. Good. Yeah, I give you. Yeah, oh, the tea. Okay. Tea? Nice. Tea. Excellent. Having tea, 10 o'clock in the morning. A set of cut. Which, which day is today? Today is Thursday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, oh yeah. Wednesday the 25th, I think. Uh, 20 something. I'm <laughs> really bad with the dates. Yeah, uh, luckily I know the dates on that sometimes. And how many? You said 100 chapels here in the center of Grad. Yes, there are over 100 chapels. Over 100 chapels. I mean. Yes. Over 100 chapels. I don't know exactly how much they are. I think 147 or something like this. Yeah. You can check on the internet. And this is up on the mountain. It's like a. It's almost like a coming here to pil for a pilgrimage. Yes. You know, to climb up the the mountain to come. Yeah, and but see this, this is what what people are doing when yeah. there is the Sveti Dimiter, uh, the the name stay. Yeah. They make a big uh, a big thing here. Right. The Sveti Dimiter. Yeah. And they are cooking here um, this uh, bob. Bob. The, yeah. The 
for Sue, Bob, the yeah, beans. Yeah, beans, beans, yeah. And there's some guy, he's cooking here, making a big pot with big beans. Big pot for everybody. Yes, and, and then everybody's they bring his come together and, and they, uh, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Where did you, we're going to the, the Sen of Krepus. Yeah, now we go there, over there. there you can see the Sen of Krepus. Yeah. And we go over there now. Okay. It will take us like half an hour walk. Yeah. And so if you want to come and do this walk, you need to enjoy walks. Yeah. Yes, of you course. Need to and uh, I know you you never had uh, Shkimbetro, but... Uh, After a hard night, <laughs> Shkimbetro is the hangover cure, yeah, yes, I believe. Yes, it's a hangover killer. And yeah, you will like it, I'm sure. And yeah, you have here this, I mean, it's amazing. The, all these colors, you see, that's really. This now, time of year, Bulgaria has amazing colors. Now this purples, fall, reds, oranges. This full time, I mean, look at this, what for colors they are. Yeah. This is, uh, if somebody knows what is this, please tell me what is this. And if you can have tea from this, I have no if idea. Anybody knows, put some comments in the comments below. We'd really appreciate it. <coughs> And uh, here's the flower actually, you can, the, the tree, so if somebody knows what is this, please make a comment and tell Put us what it is. Below. And this also one. this black one, I have no idea what, is, what, what it is. So if somebody can tell us what are, uh, I mean I know the pine, I made some uh, board of mat. Yes, so, so from like the pine. Uh, honey, yeah. syrup, honey. Actually, it's not it's kind that, of a syrup, isn't it? They, they say it's. They, they say it's. If you translate it from Bulgarian to English, it's bor of mat. Yes. So. But it's not honey. But it's not honey. It's, no. it's, it's more it's like a syrup, isn't it? Yes. You, like so if you're finding Norman's uh, informational points very useful, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and don't forget, if you do know what them things <coughs> are, please write down in the comments below. <coughs> We'd really like to know. We like you know. You know, I read all the comments. Try to answer back, back as many as possible. So that's saffron. Yes, this is saffron. We just found it on the floor. Yes, Amazing. just found it on the floor. And you can just imagine how much you have here. What it is for uh, for uh, pain normally if you pick it up and you have one kilo, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's why it's so, that's expensive. Why it's so expensive. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, Norman, what, you, what do you like about the nature here in, uh, in, in Avsenovgrad? Yeah, I like uh, all the herbs, mushrooms, uh, the... Uh, the things what you can found here in the not not only at Zenovgrad in the whole Rodop Mountains. The I mean, it's a, it's the whole. Uh, maybe tomorrow I bring it to Pamporovo and then we see. Um, I mean, you have everything here, and I grew up in in GDR in in East Germany, and there was a little restaurant when I was nine years old. I was already in professional kitchen. Yeah. So my grandmother and my grandfather they were uh, chefs as well, uh -huh. and they, my grandmother she's like uh, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> she 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 teach me all about uh, the herbs and mushrooms what I know right. until now. Yeah. There's of course still a lot of things to learn. Yes. So I learn from this. Uh, I'm living here in a center of God near to this uh, Baba Lena. Uh -huh. Baba Lena she has a lot of. Uh, she's like uh, Bilkar. Right. So, so she's means making a natural. Natural medicines yeah. from the natural ingredients. Yes, that you can from, make from herbs, only from herbs. Amazing. Yes, Amazing. and uh, I'm still learning from her. Yeah. So I showed you these berries before. So if anybody knows what are these berries and how you can use them, just uh, that they that they teach us. Yeah. And yeah, this is what I love. I really, I'm I'm a nature nature guy, you know. Yes. Yes. I mean, with this antibiotic and all these things. Yeah, with I, this chemical medicine nowadays, is uh, <laughs> I mean, there's too much of it. Yeah. It's full, full, full. I mean, I wouldn't recommend that we go against the doctor doctor's orders. No. If, if they think you really need something, then you take it. But if you can learn about yeah. these natural ingredients, what they can do to heal different things, yeah. it's, it's the best way to go, I think. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it's just like the, the Vikings, you know? The Vikings, exactly. <laughs> the Vikings, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not I'm not uh, baptized or anything, so I believe in the Vikings. Yeah. That's why I have also a tattoo with Odin <laughs> and everything. And so this tea that you made earlier, this was from just natural wild herbs? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 the tea, the tea I was 
collecting in the summer in the mountains. Yeah. So I got this uh, wild mint, nice. wild uh, thyme. Yeah. Uh, we have this, I don't know the, the names in, in English. Right. Yeah, it's there's Bulgarian. Jult Cantarion yeah. and uh, there's white uh, Biao Cantarion and uh, things like this, you know. Yeah. And it's they have also here in the mountains, it's, uh, I cannot remember the name now. They say like it's Rodop, um Viagra. <laughs> it's right, right, okay. yeah. Nice. nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I mean, this was amazing tea. I'm going to take one more of that off you. Yeah, yeah. We we cook on. later a little bit. That's great. Yeah. Throughout time, many of us owned this fortress, such as the Romans, Thracians, Bulgarian Empire, and the Th Third Crusade. Also, the Ottomans. Ivan Sen II was the last man to build onto this fortress and make the largest reconstruction that anyone has known. For this, the fortress is named after him and also is the town. This is actually uh, for opening, for ramming the doors. Battering ram. Yeah. Battering ram, Gerrit just said. And yeah, it's working. So if you need some, your wife doesn't let you in or something. <laughs> and you can just, here and pick up this just one come and to a center of crepes and go and pick it up. <laughs> I can have that in an English or a different language for 12 leather. Yeah, you have the best uh, uh, tour you have, guide. You, you have, have the, the best tour, you have guide. tour guide here, so you don't need to take it. And yeah. I will get now the tickets and then we go in. I will show you the ascent of Krepost. There you see over this, this tower also. Uh, very And over there you have a ballista. So yeah, this is the, uh, this is the downstairs part of the chapel, yeah? Oh. Obviously this is probably where they used to do services and things, no? The chairs here, looks like. Down here. Oh, it's like a wishing well here. Yeah. Maybe for a good look, we should throw some small stutinki. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. So this is the upstairs, yeah? Yeah, that's the upstairs from the uh, Asana of Crepost. Which is actually named by Tsar Ivan Asen II from 1218 to 1241. He didn't get that old. Yeah. Wait, he so got. He was, uh, Tsar, Tsar is uh, like the king, no? The emperor. He, yes, yeah, some emperor. And yeah, we have here this beautiful, you have these old pictures from the church. They are restored, but a lot, a lot are also gone. But they try to keep it and uh, try to restore here. it as best as possible. Yeah? <coughs> yes, uh, here's some icon. You can also leave again 50 Stutinki here for your luck <laughs> on the icon. That's the Holy Mother Maria. And uh, somebody wrote here something. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> oh, says the Bulgaria. <laughs> yes. Up to the top now of the fortress. Sometimes